Hello teachers, today I want to show us how we can utilize groups within Canvas. So groups can really be utilized for a couple different functions, things like assignments and things like discussions in Canvas. So today what I want to walk through is really how we, number one, create groups, and then really how we can deploy groups within something like a discussion. And I'm really going to model today how you might utilize discussions, say for example, for something like a book club. So we'll go into our Canvas course, and I'll jump into one of my courses. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says people. So here you can see everyone in the course, all of your students. And then across the top, I've also already created a couple of groups. So for example, I made one group for feeders. I also made one for science lab groups. And again, you can see how I've dispersed people evenly amongst those groups. But let's say, for example, we want to create another group, maybe for a book club. At the top, you'll see the blue button that says Group Set. So you have to create a group set first, and then you can create your groups within that set. So we'll click Group Set, and we'll call this Book Clubs. Uh, I'm not going to check Self Sign Up because I want to manually create my groups and manually put my students into their groups. So I'll click Save. Now you'll notice I have a new tab for Book Clubs, and of course all my students not in a group yet. They're unassigned. And I'm just going to go ahead and click this gray button that says to add a group. So I'll just go ahead and create uh, three or four groups to demo this. So I just made four really quick groups. And now I'm going to go ahead and assign my students to those groups. So what I can simply do is either click the plus sign and choose the group I want them to go to, or I can drag and drop them into a group. So I'll just shuffle some people into groups and we'll go from there. Okay, now that I've dispersed all my students into their groups, um, I'm ready to go ahead and maybe create a discussion now for each of these different groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my discussions tab and I'm going to start a brand new discussion. So I'll click add discussion. Here I'll give it a topic title and then we'll go ahead and start a discussion and I'll give them a prompt. And then what you'll do is you'll go down and do your options. And then here you'll click to make sure you say this is a group discussion. And then I'm going to pick my group category. And I'm going to choose obviously my book club groups. Give it an available date. And then I'll click save and publish when I'm ready. Now you'll notice that my prompt will be the same for all of my discussion groups, so it keeps a similar discussion uh, within each of my separated groups. So we'll save and publish. And then on the teacher side, you can now see in this blue area, it says, since this is a group discussion, each group has its own conversation for this topic. Here are the ones you have access to. So now I can easily then, as the teacher, go in and click on book one, that group, and I can see just their discussion. And I can back it out and I can say, okay, now I want to go ahead and see maybe just book three's discussion. And I can see just the discussion that happens between book three. And again, you'll notice that prompt is the same in the discussion for each individual group. But that is how you can create groups and then assign groups uh, to a discussion so that each small group has their own discussion board just amongst those students in their group.